scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. When we heard all of them coming to testify, I saw some of you standing. I saw some of you clapping with all your heart. Jesus was being glorified. They were thanking me, but really Jesus was being glorified. Are you seeing that now? Because something was taught, they believed it, they applied it, it worked for them. Hearing is our Father glorified. Pastor Alpha, when your results begin to glorify God. So the way you glorify God is not just by singing alone. You can sing songs, but God wants your life. Please hear me everyone. God wants your life to give him glory. As a father, by the time you have preached on the principles of fatherhood, and then people watch your life, your children are responsible. Are we together now? There's food in your house. You are not worse than an infidel because you can cater for your family. You are responsible. There's peace with your wife. No boxing anybody in the name of, that's how we do it in our village. You see, Christ is being glorified. Someone comes to your home, and reads many scriptures without opening the Bible. He knows that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. Has never believed a man and a woman can live for two years without quarreling. And they are seeing it for the first time. Your light is shining before men. They are seeing it and they are glorifying. The recession has been whipping and biting people hook, line and sinker. When someone comes to your house and you hold the hands of your wife and say, look, let's squeeze He's been crying. The child is, is, I mean, there's a problem. This child is about to be thrown from school. How much is the school fees? 40,000. Okay, take. How much is your rent again? 120,000. Okay, the Lord has led us. This is 150,000. And you say, at this time of recession, sorry, is it borrow or give? No, 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 not borrow. The Lord bless you. Freely we have received from him. Freely we give. Madam, are you in agreement? Absolutely, I love my husband. That person lives with that money and a message. That recession is not a personal language. There are people who have been exempted since. It's not just this year. They were exempted since. Are we together? When people are dying left and right like chickens. Dying left and right like chickens. You have a dream. Someone slaps you. You wake up from your head to your toe is paralyzed. The doctors check they tell you well something is wrong or nothing is wrong and then you are dying are we together now something is mocking God there and then all of a sudden you find out something in the world and you engage it and you clear that devil off your body are we together and you get up like our sister was standing strong you have demonstrated something the victory of Christ hallelujah you have won the victory hallelujah hallelujah you have won it all for me death could not hold you down you are the reason Seated in majesty, you are the reason, King. Hallelujah! 
after me when I produce results Jesus is glorified say it again when I produce results Jesus is glorified I want you to say it for the last time convincingly when I produce results Jesus is glorified let me tell you make no mistakes about the fact that God wants your life. Do you know how obsessed God is with results? The two, two expressions in the Bible show that. Number one was the cursing of the fig tree. He came because the tree is eating from the earth. Is that not true? Connected to the earth. And it was green. Jesus was hungry. He ran there and found out the tree had been deceiving them. And he said... He cursed it and he said no fruit will grow from it again. And by the next day it withered. Number one. Number two was in Matthew 25. He used a parable to show how that he does not waste resources. He gave unto one five talents. Is that true? Two talents, one. The other foolish one said he went to bury it. And then when Jesus came, he said of him to say, I'm sorry. I was careless. Add one more year and I will show you I'm serious. He said, I know you. That offense is the hallmark of men who never get results. They are angry at God and they are angry at those who are producing it. So they create theological explanations to excuse they are not producing results. I'm sure he had been saying, let Jesus come. I will see. When he came, he said, I know you. You are a hard man. You like reaping where you did. So it's me you are using as a donkey. You see his mindset? He was not a steward. He wanted to be an owner. I know you. You want to use me to build your ministry. So I decided that uh, I even am, you are even lucky that I buried it. Here is your talent. And he said, depart from me. He would have said, depart from me. Lousy and proud man. He said, wicked one, two, unprofitable servant. Cast into outer darkness. Where there is crying and gnashing of teeth. Look how Jesus is grave about a life that is barren. In the physical, when a man gets married to his wife, especially in Africa, when they give you two weeks, they have tried. After two weeks, everybody is looking. Is she coughing? No. Then somebody will just joke and say, we are waiting for Junior. They are speaking a subliminal message. After six months, even the man, the woman begins to be concerned. Are we together? Two years three years they now tell the man marry another wife in other words we hate unfruitfulness and in as much as you pay dowry for this woman return it and marry another woman that's how much in our culture we love results but when a life is barren we say it's the will of god and we create stupid explanations justified by scripture i've told you the bible is a prophetic book you can make it preach anything that's why you can find the bible in a herbal shrine and the man will open to something, Psalms 2, and say the Lord will laugh. And then after reading it, now concoct the charm and say, take it and, and watch it. That is still a charm. Are we together now? God is interested in your results. Please make no mistakes about it. When you walk in divine health, and the older you get, the fresher you become, God is glorified. Critics may not be glorified, but God is glorified. And how many of you know there is only one person you owe explanation to your life? God. Not critics, not those who understand you or not. That's none of their, that's their business. God. Be glorified. When other people, they say, um, now young people are having high blood pressure and they test you. And the doctor says, it looks like you're a 10-year-old child. You say, you are right, doctor. You are right. Age is just a number. The word of God renews me. Is it not in your Bible? They that be planted in the house of God. He said they shall flourish in the courts of our God. In old age, they shall be fat and flourishing. 
not wrinkled and dying whipped by life no are we together how many young people in Nigeria look at do you know um, I, I sometimes do you know how people are suffering in Nigeria right now and are you seeing how several of us preachers are so unconcerned about the plight of people we never bring relevant teachings that help to address their pain a man treks with his wife and five children loyal he's a sanctuary keeper in your church he treks with his wife from a place maybe like paladin and treks and comes and just scrubbing the church with joy hoping that you would teach them what to bail them out and then you come up and trivialize their problems and say it does not matter the most important thing is that you serve God and God says no no you are making me selfish the kingdom works when you seek him first but then there is a provision for your welfare too otherwise why will we not call God selfish the theology that we propose if not well balanced will make God look like such a selfish God we may not have the courage to say but it looks like Lord everything is about you so my whole life what is my own and God says I'm not like that I'm love while you were yet sinners I gave something for you if I offered my son will I not much more with him freely give you all things in other words if you are not getting it is your pastor it's not me Joshua Selman is lying to you somewhere You go to churches and watch people come and meet the pastor and say pastor five of my children their school fees are not paid i love you i'm the prayer band leader in my church my rent has expired and he looks he said look that's not the issue the most important issue is what shall separate you from the love of god that's true and after praying because the pastor himself is not rich enough or too greedy to do it he may have the money in his account but he's too greedy to release three hundred thousand and will not teach the people what happens do you know most times this kind of wrong teaching the only people who benefit are the pastors because at the end of preaching that error I'm standing with a nice suit there's food for me oh. I don't know whether there's food for you but there's food for me after koinonia this night I don't know whether you people will be trekking but all I know is that there is a car taking me home are you seeing that I don't know whether you are going to be sleeping outside I will be lying down under AC enjoying myself I must be a wicked man of God to be walking in that dimension and not respond to your pain who lives in Nigeria now and ignores the reality of the fact that people need the dimension of God that can respond to their succor. They call religion the opium of the masses. They call it a strategy to take advantage of the masses because it was wrongly communicated. Everywhere the gospel was received, it brought civilization. It not only built men spiritually, it changed their level. Say amen. I look at many of our mothers and some of our elderly people who are here and I look at the sacrifice they pay to wait this late there are some of you as you are seated right now you are young people maybe just working or a student or a graduate but your loved ones five of them they are depending on you to take care of them and you are not getting the key the little 10,000 you are getting is pushing you and now pastor because that's what we do as men of God we now say there is a contribution Everybody is going to bring seven, seven thousand. You have ten thousand. I forced you through messages and courses to bring three thousand, to bring seven thousand. The remaining three thousand, you are in trouble and you are dying. Ejimi, members are crying. A good shepherd lays down his life does not keep his ego and allow people to die anybody who loves god and loves his people should if you cannot give all of them money share with them the principles and let them know that when you rise out of recession god is glorified and they glorified god in koinonia God is being glorified in several ways. You come in, you find people inside and outside, thousands following online. People say it does not matter. God says it matters. It matters to me. Jesus, you be lifted higher. Higher. Be lifted higher. Jesus, you be lifted 
lifted higher, higher. Be lifted higher. Let our King be lifted up. To our lives, let my king live. Oh, Write this down. Results are not accidental. Please write it down. We have agreed that it is important for our lives to bear fruit. We have agreed that our results glorify God. God is not only glorified in our worship and our sacrifices, which is important. He's not only glorified when we enthrone Christ at the seat of our lives. He's glorified when we bear much fruit. Write this down. Results are not accidental. Semicolon. They are the results of walking the mysteries of the kingdom. You have to write this down. Results are not accidental. They are the product of walking the principles, the secrets, the mysteries of the kingdom. Many results never happen. In business, results don't just happen. In marriage, results don't just happen. In education, results don't just happen. In ministry in leadership results do not just happen which which debunks the fallacy that has been proposed for many years in the church if God wants it done he would do it it looks spiritual but it's very dangerous the heaven of heavens belong to the Lord the Bible says says but the earth has he given to the sons of men and he gave them a command he says and he blessed them and saying be fruitful multiply replenish subdue have dominion so if anything is to happen in my life i must be a contributor to making it happen see let me tell you something admit this sincere truth and your life will change nothing of value is free nothing of value is free it is either paid by you or paid by someone for you nothing of true value bishop oedeko made this statement many years ago nothing of value nothing of value is free that's why you don't pay you pay school fees even for marriage as free as it is you pay dowry they write a list and give you even if it's your uncle that grew up with you every day and you say uncle i've been looking at your daughter he says all right get a clean sheet of paper buy rice by yam you would think you will be forgiven no no matter how much you are forgiven you will pay in kind in cash or both nothing of value is free meaning if you are not ready to pay the price for your success forget about it there is a price please understand this don't let anybody indoctrinate you into believing your life will change in the sweet by and by there is a price for the outcome of your life what you see today by the grace of god was intentionally done there's nothing accidental about what god is doing by his grace and there are many men and women here by the grace of god i had the privilege to see their lives i saw them engage these things and i see the results that are speaking now say my results must speak say it again my results must speak results are not accidental they are a product right you must engage something engage something you must do something there is always something to do good master what should i do to be saved that's the freest thing we know in the new testament salvation but here's how a man got it good master what should i do believing is doing something believing is not cheap it takes it takes the labor of the word for a man to believe as free as believing looks you have to get it good master what should i do to be saved that's a good businessman no wonder he was rich what should i do the poor one just had mercy on me 
but the wealthy man knew he must do something he must engage something psalm 25 verse 14 what is what how are results produced what is really the mystery behind results in the kingdom please write this down results are produced when we have access to and understand secrets comma mysteries principles results are produced when we have access to and understand secrets mysteries principles the laws of the kingdom were designed to reflect the justice system of God and the Bible says righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne so the Bible says this David a man who was a mighty man never conquered in any war great man did several great things for the kingdom this is what he has to say the secret of my exploit is that the secret of the Lord is with them that fear him and he will show them his covenants ah, there are secrets brothers and sisters how many of you have a Jimmy's wife is here excellent excellent um, baker confectionery person she can make anything cake if you want her to draw your face she can draw it on the cake I mean anything at all you want her to draw koinonia she can draw it on the cake absolutely fantastic but do you know that if I meet hope now and I say hope show me how to make cake she will show the general thing because I'm not serious most likely because I didn't pay for it as she's talking I'll be answering a question say, sorry sorry this that's the teacher so she keeps those things as secrets and there will be a condition for her to reveal it it's worthy of being revealed but not to everybody so God hid certain things they are not in the outer court he calls them secrets there are things that are at plain sight you see it but there are things you will read your Bible and never see it they are called the secrets of the Lord the Bible says they are with them that fear him and he will show you so God will call you like a conference room you know how you meet a millionaire and he says you've served well come I will take you to a room you've never gotten to and I will show you brothers and sisters you see this my life is a product of this secrets mysteries God will take you and tell you look this is what produces this when you do this it will happen when you do this this is how satan will strike forget about him just do this one and it will take care of him you rise up from those secrets and say i have it look when you say you have dominion it's not that you are a talkative dominion means you are privy to an understanding the american president moves you don't see him moving with bulletproof around try to shoot him before your gun gets there you are dead because there is a secret you don't know there is something about u.s intelligence that is beyond the plain sight you insult him in the secret someone knocks your door and says you are needed in the police station you say me what did i do you say well just you, you will find out because there is an intelligence system do you teach americans u.s intelligence no they are americans but they don't have access to that intelligence there are people who are taken to a camp that is never shown on tv and they train them rigorously there's something they call war college in nigeria is that true they take men there only god knows what happens just like there are secret prisons when you are a capon and you are a nuisance to society they drag you it's inside the river the prison is inside the river you escape is still the same thing you die there are we together the secret things brothers and sisters what do you know that gives you confidence don't do bold face before life if you are not holding anything don't stand before pharaoh if you have not seen the burning bush you will die like a chicken hallelujah 
let me show you something please sit down job 29 long reading 4 to 20 please are you learning something this night results are predictable results are not accidental seeing then that god is glorified when my life produces results then i must pay attention to the principles and the mysteries that are responsible for producing those results here's what job said job he said as i was in the days of my youth huh? read on when the the secret of the lord there was a time i was a poor young man and God, I did something that made God come to me. And he said, Job, come. Let me show you something. Let me show you what makes people influential. And he showed him. He said, the secrets of God was upon my tabernacle, like a library that you read. Let's see the effects of his access to that secret. Reading down to 20. Quick reading, please, media. Help us. Verse 6. He says, help, help him, please. When I wash my steps with butter, what brought that effect secrets and the rock poured out rivers of oil the rock does not oil, but there is a mystery that makes it happen when i went out to the gates holding these mysteries brothers and sisters he said when i prepared my seat in the street eight the young men saw me accessing this mystery and the bible says they hid themselves they said this guy is not a normal human being what is he trading on that is producing these supernatural results and the agent arose and they stood up do you know what it means for an elderly person to stand up before a child remember as a young man the princes refrained from talking and laid their hands on their mouth verse 10 the young men saw me and hid themselves ah, you're going back again please help us the nobles held their peace and their tongue cleaved to the roof of their mouth uh-huh when the ear heard of me it blessed me brothers and sisters this is what happens to a man who accesses this thing any man and when the eye saw me it gave witness to me next verse because i delivered the poor that cried when god was teaching me those secrets he showed me something so every time i saw the poor i didn't sympathize with them i delivered them there was something i did to the poor the fatherless and him that had none to help him uh-huh the blessing of him that was ready to perish came upon me someone was about to die till i showed up i did something and he blessed me and i caused the widow's heart to sing for joy 14. i put on righteousness and it clothed me my judgment was as a rope and a diadem i was eyes to the blind and feet was i to the lame uh-huh i was a father to the poor and the cause for which i knew not i I was humble is part of the reason why i was great every time i saw result and i did not see it in my life i didn't argue and explain it away i humbled myself like a scientist and i searched it out 18 okay 17 and i break the jaws of the wicked and pluck the spoil from his teeth that's authority brothers and sisters when i searched it out i found something that granted me access to break it in the, and then i said i shall die in my nest in peace and i shall multiply my days as the sand part of the secret something was shown to me of how a man can live a fruitful life and how i can add to my days hezekiah did it there was something he touched that multiplied his days that means there's something you can touch that will shorten your days you are supposed to live 100 you do something it takes it to 85 some of us now we have done it to 40. you better learn what takes it back learn what takes it back fast before you find out you have two more years you learn it that is in your bible please let's go back to 18. 18 please right and i shall multiply my days i will do it Ah, like saying I will fry egg I will multiply my days see how we fear death 
Yet a man was saying, do you know in all, of, in all of Job's trouble, he never talked about death. In other words, he knew that, look, look, we are discussing life here. It's just that this is the worst form of life. But death is another law. Just leave that one. These guys trivialized Satan. They made nonsense of him. Our generation is so bankrupt of secrets. So Satan masquerades as such a great man. I always give this example. Have you seen someone lying somewhere saying his father is a director, is a CEO, just because nobody who grew up with him knew him? The moment he sees you coming and you know him, you say, This guy, why are you here? You are here to bust my tire now. Satan only talks when there are people with ignorance. There are some of us when he sees us, he will refrain because we know you are number one, you are not omnipresent, you are not omnipotent, you are a liar, you are a thief, you walk with people's minds. If I, have, if I have a dream and I see somebody with gun wanting to shoot me and all these funny things, if I get up, I'm not even going to pray about it. Not because I'm just doing bold face. I understand that Satan, without the cooperation of your mindset, his hands are useless. If your mindset limits the word, why wouldn't it limit Satan? Your mindset limited the word of God. How much more Satan? So all, all those things are nonsense. You see, that revelation alone gives me sound sleep. If an owl is crying in front of my, my, my window, it can cry till morning. As far as I'm concerned, you're a creature. You're a creature. Whatever spirit is in you is not recognized. When an owl starts barking, then I'll come out and check because it's unusual. But for as long as you are doing what you are doing, I will sleep. Gone are the days you come out and say, in the name of this owl, I'm tired of you. And, you know, my root was spread out by the waters listen to this and the dew lay all night upon my branch 20 my glory Shabalakataya, was fresh in me and my bow the symbol of my strength and authority was renewed this is a man who gave a secret and he said the reason why this happened was that the secrets of the Lord were upon his tabernacle. Daniel chapter 2. Daniel chapter 2. A king had a dream, forgot the dream and the interpretation and wanted to kill everybody because he was angry. And something happened. Daniel chapter 2. We're reading from verse 15. We'll jump, 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 jump. I'll show you the scriptures. 15. So they were, they were going to kill Daniel and his, you know, his friends and all of that. And he answered and said unto Ariok, the king's captain, Why is the decree so hasty from the king? Then Ariok made the, the thing known to Daniel. The king was angry. Anybody who cannot tell me the dream I had, I will kill him. 19. And Daniel went in. 19. 19. Then was the... Everybody says secret. Then was the secret revealed unto Daniel in a night vision. And Daniel blessed the God of heaven. Read from verse 20. We'll continue. So Daniel went to bed and saw that secret. Daniel answered and said, Blessed be the name of God forever. For wisdom and might are his. Next verse. Next verse, please. Down to 22. He and he changed the times and seasons and removed kings and set up kings. He gives wisdom to the wise and knowledge to them that know understanding. 22. He revealed the deep and secret things. He knoweth what is in the darkness and the light dwelleth with him. That's the God we serve. And that's what he can do to men. Read 27 and 28. 27 and 28 i'm trying to show you these scriptures listen daniel answered in the presence of the king and said the secret which the king had demanded cannot the wise men come out find out whether you are part of these people so you just know up hand that you will never find the secret of god it's not for wise men men in their wisdom the astrologers come out the magicians come out the soothsayers all these men cannot see it show unto the king 28 
but there is a God in heaven hallelujah <laughs> ah, yeah. the native doctor cannot see it though. he will claim he can see it because he will concoct charm and a voice will speak through the pot he will manipulate your mind into believing he's in absolute control Daniel said don't mind them they can't see it he said but there is a God in heaven and it is in his character to reveal secrets he revealed secrets and made known unto the king Nebuchadnezzar what shall happen in the latter days open my eyes let me see will you open my eyes let me see open my eyes let me see open my eyes is full of men and women who did ordinary things and then once and again certain strange men just appear and it's like a graph extraordinary exploits by the hand of God then you find ordinary men again then someone will show up in a generation then you find people doing whatever again and then you show up let me tell you something I have spent my life like an astrologer watching the stars I have spent my life searching out the mysteries of the kingdom since I found out that these were the things that were responsible for results I don't trust men I don't trust their philosophies 80% of the knowledge circulated in the world is useless to your life and destiny and eternity I don't trust them I don't trust the things they say in the news I go to the Word of God show me the mystery that will give me grace show me the mystery many people let me tell you before god granted me grace to walk in the anointing there were many people who were talking about the anointing when i looked at their lives not to condemn them i knew these guys were not they didn't get this thing but they will never understand and you can meet them and ask them uh -uh, but why didn't this result happen instead of them to say well i don't know this father they say look it's because of this i didn't trust them and i went to god i said lord there must be an answer the thing i did not know i searched out i searched out Lord, why are some people filled with the Holy Ghost and others not? Lord, why can a preacher be so anointed, filled with the Holy Ghost, yet his church never grows? Why is it that people can do publicity, put balloons, and it will never happen? Lord, why is it that a man can serve you so much and yet be broke and worried about finances? And God started referring me to his body. Various men and women who through their sacrifices have accessed these things though we are few we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river listen though we are few that's what I want you to hear we're surrounded by many we're surrounded by many surrounded by many surrounded by many they are all over your pride has stopped you from seeing them we're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before when people tell you they have not been sick in a long time you don't believe it because you think it's a lie no 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 it's a lie when people tell you they have not been broke they will never be broke again he says it's not true you're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before you are not the first to be attacked by witches my father's mother well i don't know they, they said she was a christian i know she was an idol worshiper praise god are we together my father not my relative you see when you hear people talk you think they don't know witchcraft me that demons pressed personally it's not like the one you are not seeing anybody you are just feeling hands i saw them i they looked at me i looked at them they pressed me shouted jesus nothing happened i was still a preacher i shouted jesus shouted blood of jesus it had no effect on them but preachers told me just shout jesus something will happen i did it nothing happened the secrets of the lord 
there is more to that statement than just you have been shouting it nothing happened don't we have feel <laughs> we're surrounded by many the same way the bible says they shall lay hands on the sick brothers and sisters be honest the last person you laid hands on what happened you even you you were laughing at yourself but the bible says if you do it you see when the bible tells you to do something and get results and you do it and don't get results there is more to it there is more to it the same way you see someone driving you think he's just putting gear and firing you enter and the next thing you are in the hospital because it's more than what your eyes are seeing father as i read scriptures what am i not seeing open my eyes see when you carry the bible just like a scientific book bring ye all your tithes into the house and you have been tithing but nothing has happened because all you have been doing is giving god tight see let me tell you something brothers and sisters your attitude is the tray upon which your tithe must be presented upon for to be accepted a tithe can be rejected there is an acceptable worship honor an attitude so many people stand with their envelope you look at the preacher and you are angry lift it up father in the name of jesus you just throw it inside the plate and you are angry these wicked people my tithe you they say did you tithe you say yes no you didn't tithe you brought money to church i guarantee you you just gave tithe you didn't bring you brought money to church but there is somebody who goes with understanding lord you brought this to me first i love you two i'm obedient i know you are not a liar so i bring this with understanding and you tie it are we together now with understanding do you know many people give there are people who come to give give here as if they are bribing they just say apostle god has blessed you and then they are putting their hands in their pocket and then they squeeze my hand and want and say what is this this is not a bribe if you are giving give it with understanding let me speak a word of prayer don't give as if you are bribing me i'm not looking for the money you see the attitudes we display these are the things that disqualify our giving a man preaches you want to give him honorarium you wait till he enters the car then you just look and say sorry pastor and while other people are talking you just say take 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 We're surrounded by many who have crossed that river before it's time for you to start learning why these things are not working brothers and sisters have opened your eyes that there are secrets there are secrets there's a secret that brings a crowd to a ministry the secret is not publicity I, we have proven this with all humility and by the grace of God if all you want to do is publicity you will waste money on posters and flyers and balloon and everything there is a secret this is to the miraculous it's not just shouting you know a lot of people see us shout here and then they go to their ministries they clash the symbol everybody at the count of three you're going to shout Jesus one like a champ two oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Jesus. And everybody shout and they're looking around because we'll do it again and then at the end they say okay don't worry you didn't fast you didn't have unbelief it's not in all those motions there is more than meets the eye are we together there are three areas i want you to contend to know the secrets we're going to pray three areas especially in this season god wants to be glorified through the church number one number one the secret to accessing the presence and the anointing of god upon a man's life and upon a corporate body the secret the law that governs the manifestation of the presence of God and authentic unction upon the life of a man and upon a system. 
you must cry and contend to know the secrets that are responsible for this number two are you ready you must find out the secret listen please very careful the secret to living in divine health and longevity write it down what is the key that governs not just divine health but longevity there's too much fear of death I began to study there are seven things that I studied in my life trusting God for the secrets but of these seven these three are the ones the Lord revealed to me and said let my people get this knowledge in these three areas I show you the key to peace especially in these times of turmoil health and longevity is there a system in God where a man can walk healthy brothers and sisters if I were pretending this thing you will know by now I can't be sick and come up here and act well you will see it you will know you will know that this thing is a lie I don't count we have doctors all around we've taught it here we're a very responsible ministry I've visited people in hospitals but I'm saying don't be ashamed of your current understanding but content knowing that there is a reality if you don't believe there is a realm of health and wholeness do you believe that there is an anointing to heal HIV do you believe that the testimonies you've been hearing here that people have been healed of diseases that means you don't believe it are you seeing that now how can a man want the healing anointing and you do not believe divine health and longevity is true it means you are a liar you are only playing games if I sit down on a wheelchair for a number of years and one leg is not strengthened and they tell you I can stand up and then the leg will receive strength and you say no 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 scientifically this is not working why should you be given a healing anointing to stand in a stadium and command people in wheelchairs where you have not seen you see some legs they cut someone else's leg to join in the current person's leg yet you believe he can walk oh come on I'm a believer oh. I'm a believer I'm a believer when you dwell in God's presence it's easy to believe when you keep listening to junks and nonsense you will be surprised how you will not believe God because when you talk all the people who are in your area you say no no you are being fanatical you people these Christians but no 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 I am the way I am reality the truth anything that is not me is a lie I am reality longevity you need to live long listen listen do you know why many people fear death it's not because they are afraid of death in itself they are afraid because they cannot control it anything you cannot control you are afraid of you are about to travel some of you will be traveling tomorrow to various places you are sweating somebody says come and collect money in Kaduna and return you say ah it's not worth it let me travel because of 40 minutes drive let me die send it through an account i will collect it somewhere they say my bank is not inside i said no problem just do it fear i refuse to fear in the name of jesus christ i refuse to fear there is a mystery that keeps men long number three wealth and prosperity kingdom wealth and prosperity you must study the secret of financial empowerment at a personal level and at a corporate level those of us who are pastors here in churches you must find out what is the key I've told you the key is not business the key is not business the key is not business business is an expression of what you know business is simply a platform that gives your understanding expression without that understanding the platform is useless the key is not business the key is an understanding a construction first in your spirit and then your understanding and then all the physical avenues are simply platforms whether job business whatever you call them do you believe what I'm sharing with you or are you still arguing it like many people will argue and say it does not work 
by God's grace I have paid the price to study these things in my own personal life I still am studying them but to an extent I have seen the hand of God and to an extent we have seen this even in this ministry I hate speaking sometimes because of this because people who don't understand think we are boasting and all of that no we will never beg as a ministry till Jesus comes never there's no need we'll be wicked if we do so because he has been faithful too faithful too faithful our dinner is on Sunday there is recession melting people down yet we are celebrating our workers and we are doing it with all gladness when we shared we looked at the budget of the dinner some of the people even the leaders some of them were a bit surprised a budget that can build house for somebody you are now using it to eat in one night that's what happens when you pay attention my son pay attention to my words incline your ears to my sayings do not let them depart from you that's somebody's salary for many years spent in one night to tell workers thank you recession is hitting hard and melting down we have never stopped transporting people we don't boast to have arrived but it's a sign that this thing works I'm saying this to encourage you that it can work brothers look at me there is this plague that is sweeping Nigeria and sweeping young men young men are afraid young men that are supposed to be bold you go to school and struggle for years but you are still moving around as if you've never seen the wall of a school why because of fear fear looms many young men what will I do someone sent me a text I think it was day before yesterday that he doesn't know why he married I said what is what is the meaning of that you are sending a text you don't know why you married yet the recession has not started This thing has been prophesied by several men of God. I say it, I, I listen to the messages, I prophesied it. I told you people, those who are announcing that it's going to come and be over. I respect every, I don't condemn any man and any ministry. But brothers and sisters, I tell you the truth by the grace of God. It is not going to end. Not soon. I guarantee you. It will be worse. I have seen it with my two eyes like I'm seeing you. But upon them that fear my name. The son of righteousness shall arise with healing in his wings. Therefore shall you discern between them that fear God and them that feareth him not. There is a difference. Hallelujah. We we'll keep rising from glory to glory. May you never lack food to eat in your house. That you have to carry a plate to move around and beg for rice. There is a way you come out. Or that you sit down and you are saying, ah, somebody, a devil just cheaply appears in your dream. Fires an arrow to your body and you wake up the next day. And all of a sudden, you know you are going to your grave. Let me speak to someone here. You are having dreams, dead men, dead things. You are quietly sleeping, they are feeding you in the night. Whether you want to eat or not. All those things, let me tell you, there is a place for deliverance. But the greater part of deliverance is access to understanding you know I told you these things happen to me most preachers will lie to you and say it didn't happen most people will tell you lies and say it happened to me brothers and sisters I sleep in the night they press me once it's night night I get afraid do you know it was so bad eh, Jimmy? I can hear people talking physically but I can't wake up no, I can't wake up. So you are not the first it's happening to. The day I caught the light, I ran, I ran from maybe you here to BZ. And I stood outside and I begged the spirit to come. I didn't cast it. I begged it to come. I cast it in Zaria. It goes to another city. When we go, I drive it from there. You play ball with the spirit. City to city. That's what light does. But many people will not get the light. And then they say, in the name of Jesus, I won't dream. You even fast as you are rounding the last fast in ignorance. Then they come. You see, the devil can make nonsense. You think I don't know. That's the experience of some of us. Three days dry. The first day, nothing happens. The second day, he says, walk, you know. And then the last day, as you are saying, amen. You just drink orange and sleep. Just orange. And there they come. <laughs> they rubbish your three days fasting. So you now get up and say, Kai, this man must be using charm. This thing is not only fasting. There, there must be something. There is a key. 
or you now carry your Bible and put it in your pillow right carry oil and put sign of the cross on your head I'm not mocking you no, I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not mocking you anything done without revelation is nonsense you can even play koinonia message while he's playing you are sleeping nothing works in itself it is engaged hallelujah praise the Lord I remember when I was studying some of the things that God has helped me know now do you know I arrogantly argued with some of them because in my little mind then I felt no these things are not the way when some of these generals wrote these things and I looked at them I said is it really this thing it's not it doesn't match how foolish I was now I look and I I truly see that I deserved where I was if I had known the things that I knew now maybe a few years earlier than I knew them I probably would have been ten times better than I am and that time sadly there were not many people around who had really gotten this kiss everybody was trying some of us had the privilege to be the ones leading people and so as you were leading you were just hoping you were right may you walk with accuracy that if you receive a text now listen you receive a text now as I'm speaking and someone says we're waiting for you in front of your house you must die this night you will see us but we have said something good day some people will just say I feel like praying around here that's what I used to do hallelujah a gentleman went to steal recently in my house he got charm from Zaria City tied it got charm tied it they still caught him can you imagine while koinonia was going on he was trying to steal they still caught him he shall put his angels charge over you they shall bear thee up on their wings lest you dash your feet against a stone I know you don't believe it you just say oh yes yes but you must believe it and say this is true so a man looks at you and threatens you and say if both of us wake up tomorrow you must die and you say you know you will sleep too Abby tell him the person boasting you are not doing night vigil you too you will be you will be sleeping for six hours you will not know what is happening where is the angel of death that swept over arrogant Egypt and some people did not wake up any man playing with your life and prophesying to you is playing with death in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ don't fear men don't let any man threaten you because of anything you threaten God's elect he suffered no man to do them wrong yea he reproved kings for their sake saying touch not my anointed and do my prophets no harm brothers and sisters you are immune but this thing is not just hearsay please every lady lay your hands on your womb prophesy to yourself in one minute and say me and barrenness are like the east and the west we will never meet go ahead and pray there's a reason why i'm saying that lay your hands on your womb and prophesy no barrenness don't let anybody tell you oh it's because everybody is eating spaghetti now we are eating this and cancer is multiplying fibroid is multiplying cause it God is glorified in my body I have no business with barrenness this womb will carry boys and girls prophesy it to yourself don't call what they call conspiracy conspiracy hallelujah brothers lay your hands on your head and say the secrets of wealth must come upon me lift your voice and pray in one minute Lord you are showing me the secrets God is giving me a great ministry there's much to do for the kingdom I don't have the time to be thinking about money no it's a cost I don't have the time to leave my assignment leave everything money 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 grant me grace to get this key and move on to do important kingdom things in my life can't spend 60 years of my life just daydreaming and being obsessed about money carnality over money show me the keys 
let me not put anybody's daughter on that trouble let me not raise children and punish them because of ignorance please pray you will thank me for what you are doing today lord i'm tired this thing has a way there is a way out show it to me there is a way out oh there is a way out hallelujah now everyone i want you to pray while you are seated will soon stand up but i like you to command every area of your life that has not been working don't just command it to work say lord the secret to make it work please show me even if it's something that has been taught but my eyes have not seen show it to me Sato Sabalakata. my spiritual life is going down and down and down i can't pray for 10 minutes i've tried and tried and tried there is a devil somewhere trying to stop me lord what is the secret to a consistent prayer life what is the secret to a consistent word life i'm tired of this not studying the word i've been lying to people that i study my bible i know i'm not studying it i don't have an appetite for god something is wrong show me the secret i pray and nothing happens i say the same thing anointed people say but nothing happens what is the key to the anointing coming into my life let me speak and let there be results for your glory pray for your health lord i'm tired i've spent over a hundred thousand on my body this year i've spent over five hundred thousand i don't even know what is wrong with me now i know you desire to be glorified in my body i'm tired of being afraid of death i'm a man of god but i fear death i'm a woman of god but i fear death i fear assaults of terrorism i fear accidents I fear the operations of witches and wizards. There's something I need to know. I'm tired of living in fear. Pray. Pray. I'm tired of going to my village because I think I will not come back 2017. I'm tired that they may charm me. Oh, give me access. Give me access. Give me access. Sato Katai. Access, pray. Longevity. Lord, let me be as, as confident as I am sitting on my seat to know I will live long. Let me be confident. And the secret was revealed to Daniel and the secret was revealed to Daniel and the secret was revealed to Daniel finally pray I must break the back of poverty is my agreement with God is my covenant with God to the fourth generation no one has prospered in my family until they serve idols i will not serve idols and i will prosper for the glory of the name of the lord i will not serve idols and i will prosper i will not bribe and i will prosper i will not cheat and i will prosper i will not play fraudulence and i will prosper there is a secret that must be shown to me I know I'm a young man, but I must prosper. Employment or no employment, recession or no recession, there is a secret. Show it to me, oh God. Now jump on your feet and pray for any other area that has refused to work. I challenge you, show me the secret. Why have I not entered a relationship, oh God? 
Why are men running away from me? Show it to me. So when I gather, it scatters. When I gather, it scatters. Show me why. Although I've been delivered, I'm still seeing family patterns in my life. The failures of my father's house is still reflecting in my life. Although I'm praying in tongues. For the next three minutes, pray in the spirit, blasting tongues. Something must open in the heavens. Something must open. Lord, I must deliver my family. I must deliver my lineage. Tired of poverty. Tired of struggling. Tired of a resultless Christian life. Tired of a life barren of the anointing. Lord, it's not working in my life. I have to admit it this night. Pray, it's not working. Why is it not working? Why is it not working? Why is it not working? I knock on the gates of heaven. I demand an explanation. Nobody is rising in my family. Nothing is working. They serve you, yet no door is open. Oh, pray, pray, don't be tired. Leka teka soto na ba 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 ba. Empretos kapras kalekete. Shakata pras kalekato shakalika. Empreso sete dekete. Mambro zekete kelebo soto ba la ba la ba. Hallelujah. Hearing is my father glorified. When you bear much fruit. Listen. Listen. I want you in the next one minute to pray violently. Knock on the door that controls results. And say Lord for your glory is my, is my turn to testify. I told you nothing happens. For everyone that asked it, receive it. Lord, I've never really had a testimony this year. Why is that so? No one has favored me. No door has opened. No deliverance has happened. Hallelujah. 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 I want you to pray and knock on the door of heaven. Your heart is already right with God, I know that. But I want you to agree with God and say, Lord, between now and Christmas, when we celebrate your coming, can you give me a reason to praise your name this year? I tell you, if you, if you obey this instruction and pray with your heart, you will be surprised what my God will do. Lift up your voice and pray. Lord, 
and I agree with you. Shapata. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Ay, 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 ay. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Open strange doors. Do it for your glory. Surprise my father. Surprise my mother. Surprise them. I intercede for them. May the angel of your presence reach them. Give them a miracle. Let that cancer be healed. Let that HIV be healed. Let that barrenness be broken. Let her take in before Christmas. Having a child already in a womb. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Everyone shout this after me in the name of Jesus. I decree that every force in the heavenlies programmed a sign to stop results from manifesting in my life to discourage my Christian life I challenge you by the blood of Jesus lift your voice and pray ancestral powers yokes spirits ordinances written in the heavenlies projected by witchcraft and wickedness to stop my life from glorifying God to stop results from happening in my life I challenge you I challenge you I challenge you by the blood of the eternal covenant Hallelujah. Let's take one more prayer point. I want us to release the ministry of angels. Listen. The Bible says, are they not ministering spirits? Let me tell you, hear me. Angels are real. I see them all the time. You will be foolish to believe angels are not real. Not everybody here seated physically in Koinonia is a human being. I have seen them many times as I preach. They sit down like human beings. They are not human beings. I'd like you to pray. Say in the name of Jesus. See some of you are still joking. Say it again in the name of Jesus. I am an heir of salvation. Therefore, I decree and I deploy the ministry of angels to every area of my life to war a warfare until I become victorious lift your voice and pray I release their ministry release my helpers to come into my destiny release favor I release angels over koinonia the angels assigned over koinonia we release you by the word of god the angels assigned over god's people we release you we release you we release you we release you in the name of jesus Bring miracles, bring signs, bring wonders. Hallelujah. We're out of time, but let's pray. The Holy Ghost is asking me that we challenge the spirit of fear. Look at me. Listen, let me tell you something about the spirit of fear. I tell you, fire is burning in this place. Listen, fear. Is a dangerous spirit it stops you from taking God seriously when God speaks fear exposes you to the obvious limitations 
it's not that they are not there the obstacles are there but God's word does not explain it creates God will not tell you how by next week you will be holding a million in your hand don't be stupid and say God how will it happen who do I know blessed is she that believes he said for unto her there shall be a performance fear of death listen fear of failure fear of not having the money to feed yourself do you know it's fear that make people do all kinds of foolish things you are afraid before you know it you sell your phone because you want 10,000 in your pocket the 10,000 finishes you sell your trouser people sell all kinds of things people have converted and have left God because of fear in the name of Jesus I challenge the spirit of fear over my life over my family over my loved ones over koinonia I declare in the name of Jesus you are banished from my life forever lift your voice and pray there's no fear there's no fear I refuse to fear say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous koinonia you pray tonight don't look around pray say unto the righteous it shall be well say unto the righteous it shall be well fear of marriage fear of children fear of terrorism after me in the name of Jesus father every prophecy you spoke over my life from January till now that has not happened I want you to know that I still believe you and I agree with you that between now and December 25th I must receive that testimony lift your voice and pray I wrestle with prophecy I agree I agree you said you will heal my father I still believe you said you will heal my mother I still believe you said you will prosper my business prosper my ministry I still believe Please lift your hands. I want to pray for you. I'm a believer. I'm a believer. When you dare to believe God and understand what it takes to get the results you need, I pray for you in the name that is above all names. First and foremost, even as you have prayed, I challenge every force of witchcraft that has been released over Nigeria released over states to frustrate believers and make it look like God's word is not working I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus I command that power to bow in the name of Jesus number two I pray for you the kind of speed that you have not seen from January to now I ask the God that I serve to give you that speed in the name of Jesus. That he will perform his word hastily. Hastily. In the name of Jesus. Number three. I pray for you with all my heart. Every secret 
you have been looking at but you have never really understood you look at it all the time but you are, you listen to the messages help them please but you have not gotten it i speak upon your spirit may an unction the unction that teaches men things I'm, I'm doing an impartation upon your spirit i pray for you in the name of jesus may that light shine upon your spirit may that light that illumination shine upon your spirit any man on earth who is holding your answer any physical man holding your answer i put pressure upon their spirit they must answer you they must answer your parents they must answer your loved ones i pray for you finally every miracle we have received as a ministry this year whether it is in finances whether it is an increase whether it is in influence and impact i pray for you from the depth of my heart beginning from this night i don't care how short the time is i decree and i ask the lord most high to reproduce that testimony in your life may he reproduce that testimony in your life anyone here hold on please who is sick in any part of your body any nonsense the devil has planted whether you call it fibroid whether you call it menstrual pain whether you say barrenness impotency whether you call it migraine ss as bad dreams witchcraft any kind of sickness right now as i stand here in the name that is above all names may the fire of the holy ghost surge through your body and clear that devil out of your life may the fire of the holy ghost surge through help them please may the fire of the holy ghost my god i tell you i see fire falling on people that's what i see in the spirit fire people are getting healed May the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clear that devil right now. May the fire of the Holy Ghost, I say it again, standing upon this grace, may the fire of the Holy Ghost surge through your body and clean your blood and cleanse your life. Anyone here called SS, AS, I command that genotype change now. Any stranger you were not born with, if you were not born with it, breast lump, fibroid, ovarian cyst, any devil sitting on your body, your body must glorify God tonight. Therefore, I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. I curse that devil. I curse that spirit. Everything that has stopped you from being productive, I prophesy to your hands. Your hands represent, they are symbolic of your productivity. When the hands of Samson were tied, he could not do anything. I pray for these hands. May God teach you the mystery of profiting in the name of Jesus. He said, I am the Lord that teacheth thy hands to profit and leadest thou in the way that thou should go. May God show you the mysteries. May he show you in the name of Jesus. Lift your voice and give Jesus praise. hallelujah please keep standing everyone our time is fast spent but keep standing hold on please there are people here right now who you've heard me preach we've spoken about glorifying god your life your family everything about you is not glorifying god number one you are not even born again and you know the kind of family you are coming from 
that already there are things that can destroy people's lives wherever you are you have heard my voice and the holy spirit is telling you this man of god is talking about you you need to come out and hand over your life to christ or peradventure at one point you have given your heart to jesus christ and sincerely you know from your heart that for whatever reason your life has gone haywire and you want to run to him please we have two minutes for you wherever you are it's my pleasure to lead you right now wherever you are inside and outside leave your seat quickly and come you're welcome you're welcome you're welcome are you still coming or you are arguing with jesus the holy ghost is speaking will you still argue with him keep coming god bless you those outside don't say i'm far the devil is a liar leave him and run and come run to jesus like there's fire on the mountain if you're joining them keep coming there are people outside Please hurry up and keep coming. Hurry up and keep coming. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for those of you who are out. Those still joining, hurry up and come. Say after me, Lord Jesus. Those of you standing, please say it seriously. Say it again, Lord Jesus. I love you with all my heart. I believe you are the Son of God. This night, I have heard your word and i need help i ask you to help me i receive jesus into my heart as my lord and savior i receive your life and i declare that from today i'm a new creation i'm a new person in the name of jesus i pray for you now in the name of jesus father the bible says as many as who come to you you will in no wise cast away Father, change the lives of these people. Transform them sincerely in the name of Jesus. Let this not be some emotional show that they are coming, but let them mean it from their heart. May your life be transformed in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Now, follow the lady waving her hands. There's a lady waving her hands. Please follow her and um, she will communicate a few details to you in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus, thank you for your patience. Celebrate them. Thank you. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins, incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes, and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message, we believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof 